In this video we're going to show you how to build the Open Builds Dalrin Dual V wheel kit. Both the metal and the Dalrin Dual V wheel kits are identical, so it applies to both. In your kit you should have received a precision spacer, two bearings, Dalrin Dual V wheel sleeve, a quarter inch spacer, M5 nut, M5 screw. Step one is going to be to install the bearings into the Dalrin Dual V wheel sleeve. Take your spacer, put that in, slide the bolt through the bottom. At this stage of the game, you're going to either install your quarter inch aluminum spacer, and then your plate, and then your nut, or if this is the wheel that will be adjusted, you will install your eccentric, your open builds eccentric spacer like that and then the plate and then the nut. In this example we'll install one of the Delrin Dual V wheels onto the aluminum plate so that we can test it out on the open rail system. If you want there's two ways you can do this you can have the nut on top or on, on the top of the plate or on the bottom where the wheel is here. I like the look of it on the bottom so I'm going to put our screw through here. You want to take your eccentric bushing centric spacer and you'll notice it has a small divot. The divot is on the side that's farthest away from the center so I'm going to slide this on. It doesn't really matter where the divot is at this point but uh, since we know the rails going through here because these are our two these are our two standard uh, spacers um, I'm just going to put it as far away from there as possible. We'll make sure that you get the lip down in the hole like this. Slide your wheel kit on, take your M5 nut, put that on. Should look like that when it's loose. Go ahead and put your Allen wrench on the back. You don't you want to be careful you don't over tighten these. Okay, so it's just snug at this point. The nylon in the nut will hold it in place. On one side of the carriage we have two eccentric spacers. On the other side we have two standard spacers. With the rail in the center, this allows you to adjust both wheels on this side to move them closer towards the rail. As you can see, as I turn the wrench, it moves the wheel closer. Quick tip, there's no need to over tighten these. You don't want these digging into the aluminum plate, so you don't have to tighten these down too hard just as long as they don't move. And also, there's no need to tighten this real tight against the rail system. As long as it is touching on the V, it's not going anywhere. And you'll notice that as you put it together. Now you can see in there, I hope, there's that little divot. So I'm going to move it as far away from where the rail will be sitting as possible. That's with our 8mm our wrench. Okay, so at this point we could take the open rail. Eccentric spacers on one side, standard spacers on the other. Slide it on, make sure it all lines up. Take your wrench, turn these down just a little bit. I like to turn, you know, this side out that way because the wheel actually moves around like that. And I'll turn this side out this way until it just barely snugs. And then you can feel if it's got any wiggle, which it doesn't. And there you go. One thing to keep in mind is that you want to keep the rails lubricated as much as possible. Um, also, I like to take a Q-tip and make sure I clean out any debris that may be in the wheel. Um, it just has to stay clean if you want a smooth operation. Uh, the rule of thumb for tightness for me is that if I can hold this at a 45 degree and it go and it rolls down by itself then I know that it's good if you over tighten it it'll be very stiff on there it'll be hard to work and you should be good to go so that's how you install your gantry plate onto the open rail system thanks for watching happy building